NATO has accused the Kremlin of sending regular Russian army troops into Ukraine. NATO Secretary General Fogh Rasmussen said Russian artillery support, both cross-border and from within Ukraine, was being employed against the Ukrainian armed forces. NATO has also seen transfers in recent days of large quantities of advanced weapons, including tanks and Russian military units. The comments come as evidence mounts of a de facto Russian military invasion of East Ukraine. Journalists this week posted photos of Russian army assault vehicles captured by Ukrainian forces during the fighting in eastern Ukraine. Ukraine's military spokesman, Andrei Lysenko, said the photos were further proof that Russia is now sending regular forces and heavy weapons across the border into East Ukraine. Lysenko confirmed that Ukrainian forces had captured two Russian assault vehicles in Lugansk. Both vehicles belong to an airborne division in Russia. U.S., EU and Ukrainian officials have accused the Kremlin of escalating the conflict in eastern Ukraine by sending regular Russian army troops and armor across the border to bolster irregular Russian forces. These claims have been further substantiated in recent days by a series of videos, photos and eyewitness reports provided by international journalists. Earlier this week, a Polish television reporter filmed a convoy of Russian armor moving toward the Ukrainian border. Correspondents from Britain's Guardian and Telegraph newspapers have also provided eyewitness accounts of Russian army columns crossing the border into Ukraine. The Kremlin has refuted these allegations and accused Ukraine of creating fantasies.